Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. I'm a full-time reseller, and today we are going yard sailing, uh, as usual. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different, though. I am up in the Poconos, uh, which I don't venture up this way very often because the sales are usually not very plentiful. But I will tell you, today there are a ton of them. Uh, my original destination is a community sale, and I haven't even made it there yet because I keep stopping at other sales. So about to go here and then I'm gonna backtrack and check out some of the ones I missed. I even passed another community uh, that was not advertised. So I'm gonna go back to that. Um, I don't know, it looks like it should be a great day. So let's go. It's a popular sale. How much are the golf clubs? Uh, $25. I'm going to get that set of lobster dishes. That's all? Mm hmm. Thank you. A dollar a piece. section. Peter Rabbit. Cloud Island. Got some 
woodsy remnants in it. <laughs> oh boy. Peter Rabbit again. Someone really liked Peter Rabbit. Bitsy Bitsy Bunny. Coles. saw a media guy leave this sale. How much are the, are these yours? How much are the headphones? Oh, uh, I don't know, a dollar a piece maybe. Okay. All right. I'll get them and keep looking. Bye. 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 Grayson saying goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> bye bye. Alright. And I have two stuffed animals. They, said, uh, they may not be house broke. <laughs> <laughs> they said 50 a piece. Cute dogs. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I just got to another community and this area is looking a little rough. So we'll see if we can find anything. How much is the DVD player? How much is the DVD player? There's two in here. I'm just interested in this one. Sure. You don't have the remote with it, do you? Probably not. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. Can I see how much? Four? Yep. Four? Okay, thank you.
Yeah, this one. Buttons? Well, I mean, uh, I'm just saying. Yeah, it has some buttons. Yeah, you should have the remote, but uh, we don't have it. That's fine. want this one but thank you I'm gonna I'm gonna get this whole this whole bin oh so, I don't know if you would do any less on on those uh, I'm gonna keep looking now Can I put the set on the table for you? yeah sure Is there stuff in here too or yes dear. yeah okay. I can't remember. How much are all these parts? Yeah. How much? Okay. Uh, you know what they're for, huh? Yeah, for like a. Um, it's on the. You use them on a machine. But like, machine. 
A what? A sleep bag. Yeah, like a CPAP, right? Yes. yes. Um, I'll give you the whole thing for three bucks. This one, three bucks too, or? Yes. Three and three? All right, I'll take those. Sorry, <laughs> excuse me. I'm right here. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll put them in there. My husband wants to know if how much for the whole box of records. Yep. <laughs> you got you got busy. <laughs> Popular sale. All right, let me go load this stuff. Hey guys so let's get into this haul real quick so the area i was in was pretty slim pickings it was kind of like friday i did not find a whole whole lot but i did have one super score that saved the day which you guys saw in the shopping portion if you watched it so that is these two bose sound sports i will pop up on the screen what the last ones sold for um, so these were definitely the score of the day. I actually could not believe when he said a dollar. I was like, ah, <laughs> what? Okay. So yeah, that was awesome. All right. So let's see, what else did I get? I got this Lennox Angel, um, and I'm not sure if she's a tree topper. Let me know if you guys know. Like sometimes it'll be marked on the bottom. This one's only marked Lennox, but she does have that hollow center, hollow base. So I am gonna have to look her up. I haven't yet. I don't know if she is a tree topper or not, but she looks to be in pretty darn good condition. Uh, then I got these Lacombe, um, well, they're not marked, but they're clearly a, I mean, they are marked, but they're, sometimes it'll say their names or whatever, but clearly it's a bride and groom. Um, and the last set of these sold for $38. I'll pop that up on the screen and I paid $4 for the pair. So that was pretty sweet. They look like they're in really good condition. I always pick up these cats uh, when I find them. I found a couple, oh, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago and they sold fairly, fairly quickly. Uh, let's see here. I got this Friendship Pottery. Um, Friendship Pottery is from Roseville, Ohio, and it's marked Roseville. Some people get this confused and they think that it's Roseville Pottery, but it is not. You'll see um, Friendship Pottery is marked with the, like the handshake kind of symbol there. So that is called Friendship Pottery, if you guys ever come across it. Um, so this is just like a little like soup crock or like a French onion soup crock. Not sure how much I'm going to get for this just by itself. Um, it all depends, but maybe, maybe 10-ish. I mean, that's off the top of my head. I will look it up, but I paid a dollar for it. The lady only had one. I did get this whole set of Christopher Stewart Southwest. It's not the most desirable pattern in the world, but I paid $30 and I think there's almost 10 pieces of everything. So it should still do okay. 
Uh, I got this my beach inspiration uh certified international but it's like kind of like nautical lobster themed so there's a little tray it was five dollars for this set there's a little tray there's two bowls um two mugs one's crab one's lobster and then we have two little probably like appetizer plates. One's lobster, one is crab. It's weird, you'd think the bowls would have been like that. You would have you would have thought um, one would be lobster and one would be crab, but they're not. But anyway, I have not looked these up, but I think that they will do okay. Um, they have a very good theme going for them. So that was kind of cool. All right, then I got this stack of plates. And they were a dollar for the entire stack. This one is chipped. That one will get thrown out most likely. Uh, the other ones I think are okay, but this is T and V France. Uh, I have looked that up before because I have a couple other T and V pieces that I have yet to list, but this particular brand seems to sell pretty well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna list these at yet. Um, they're all the same. They're hand painted. Um, oh, this one's actually signed by the person who painted it. See up there. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to list these at yet, but I definitely think that it was a good pickup for a dollar. And I forget what exactly, um, oh, that one's marked Elite France. So some of these are marked a little different. I, I forget what TNB stands for. Um, I don't quite remember. I will have to look that up again. Okay, so then I got this box of Jim Shore dogs. And the lady charged me $15. She wanted, I asked her how much for these, and she said $5 a piece. And I said, well, will you do any less if I buy them all? And she said $15. So, heck yeah. And this one is actually signed by Jim Shore. So this guy normally seems to sell for around 20, but I think with that signature, I should be able to get like 25, 30 for him. So this is Spot, he's a Dalmatian. Then we have Sadie. Sadie looks like possibly like a Springer Spaniel. Let me know if I'm wrong, guys. Uh, and then we have a little Scotty dog here. His name is Mac Rover. <laughs> he's got a little tiny, like, it looks like maybe a little tiny not quite like a nick but a nick in the paint that's that's what i'm gonna say all right then we have winston winston looks like he might be i don't know he looks a little chubby to be a a westie what do you think you think he's a westie i don't know and then this looks like Well, I was going to say an Alaskan sheepdog. I don't know. It, it does say Alaska on it. Um, that's her name. What do you think she is? So, yeah, that is, I got five of them. So, I guess they ended up being $3 a piece. Um, so, not bad. I mean, I don't pick up a whole lot of Jim Shore at all, but I will pick up the Disney. If it's very, very cheap, I might pick up some other items, but the dogs, I couldn't pass those up. All right, then I got this Longer Burger uh, three-quart canister for $5. It's just the plain ivory. Um, there's no, no color to it. I'll pop it out real quick and show it to you. Uh, I imagine, ooh, I imagine I should be able to get like at least $35 for this. It's in really good condition. Um, doesn't, I don't know, doesn't really look like it's ever been used. It's a little tiny bit dusty. But yeah, so not bad for five bucks. Then I got, um, I got this American doll. I paid $30, I believe. Let's see. Okay, so this was Saturday. Today is Tuesday. How did I lose track already? <laughs> anyway, I believe I spent... I think they wanted 50 and I offered 30 or no, maybe they wanted 40 and I offered 30. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I paid 30. Anyway, 
I believe this is one of the Truly Me dolls. Um, and those don't do as well as, you know, some of the, the other ones and the retired ones. These are newer. But the good thing is it came with a lot of accessories. There's a little dog. There's a blanket. Um, this is like a hairstyling set along with a bunch of clothes in here. Then we, ooh, something fell out of there. What is this? Oh, it's like a little, like, I don't know what that is. Could be a number of things. Um, <laughs> all right, then we have like a bunch of American Girl shoes, like a whole box full of the shoes. And a little luggage case. It sounds like there's stuff in it. I didn't even open this yet. Oh, a bunch of a bunch of hangers. And it looks like a wallet and a little purse. I'll have to see if those are American Girl. I think they are. This the suitcase or the luggage definitely is. Might be missing one little um one little pull. Alrighty. And then we have ooh wreck it ralph and i just wrecked that bag i ripped the handle right off of it these bags are just so chintzy anyhow but so here is another oh uh, let's see is this american girl i don't know it's another thing full of clothes this is definitely handmade that's definitely not american girl um i'm hoping some of this other stuff is if not i'll just list it in a lot for you know like 18 inch dolls or whatever this is this is American Girl. So yeah, I'm not gonna go through all of these, but oh, here's like a little ice skating. So yeah, lots of clothes in this little bag. And then there's a couple more pieces. No, that's actually kind of broken. I won't, I probably won't sell that. This is Build-A-Bear. It's a Build-A-Bear sweater. Uh, and then, Last but not least, another box. This was like the one that um, Honey came in, which is that little dog I showed you. And again, this is filled with clothes. So for $30, not a bad deal. I would have never paid $30 for this doll alone if, if she was by herself. Uh, but since she came with all these extras, and yeah, these most of these look like they are tagged American Girl. So that's actually fantastic i will have to sit down and go through all of them but yeah like i said i wouldn't have paid 30 for her alone but with all of these extras i definitely think it was worth it i'm not sure if i'm gonna bundle her with all of this stuff or if i'm going to sell it separately i'm not really sure yet but i will figure that out so that was kind of another good find for the day then the one the one sale, I bought a ton of DVDs. Uh, I bought the ones that were mainly sealed. There are a couple that are open, but I tried to get the ones that are sealed. My phone was in the car charging, so I didn't scan any of them. Um, but, and I didn't haul all of them in here, but I, I see a lot of them look like they're like Western and stuff like that. And uh, I ended up paying $30 for everything at the sale, for all of the DVDs I got. And I must have gotten probably close to 30, I would say. Um, so yeah, um, and yeah, I sold a Western one like as soon as I listed it a couple weeks ago. So I'm like, all right, I'll try this out. This right here, this Opry Classics, this sells, and this one's sealed. I did leave behind one that was partially open and I probably should have grabbed that too. But this one sells for like 35 bucks. That's not bad. That's going to be like my money right there for that one. Uh, I got these two HPs. Uh, 564 I don't think is very good if I remember correctly, but I grabbed it anyway. Haven't looked it up yet. This little candle capper. These are usually good for like 10, 12 bucks uh, plus shipping. And then I got this whole box full of CPAP attachments, which you cannot sell the CPAPs on eBay, the actual machines you cannot sell. Um, I picked one up. I picked one up about 
two months ago maybe uh, for 25 bucks and I sent it in to 1-800-CPAP.com and I ended up getting $200 for it. So there are websites where you can sell the CPAPs but you cannot sell them on eBay. Uh, it looks like you can sell the accessories though. So this right here, this comfort gel blue flap and gel cushion, this little piece alone sells for like $25 on eBay and I got this entire box full. Um, so that was in the video as well, I believe. I haven't edited that portion yet, but you guys should be able to see that. Kind of film these things separately and then put it together. A um, couple more things. I got this Hangman for a dollar. Some of these handheld games can do really well. This one, unfortunately, only sells for about 10 plus shipping. Uh, and then last but not least, this Magnavox DVD recorder. This does not have the remote. It needs to be wiped up a little bit. I'm going to have to test it out, but this should be good for about 40 bucks. And this was included in that whole $30 thing um, that I paid for all the DVDs and stuff like that. So yeah, not a super big haul today, but I am happy with the stuff I got. Um, this coming weekend looks pretty promising. So hopefully I'll have some, some nice content for you. And I am probably... I don't know if I'm going to do it in August or September. I am going to try to bring back some what sold videos. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, you haven't seen any lately. I know I have quite a few new subscribers, but um, yeah, it's been, it's been a while since I've done the what solds, but I would do them for the weekend, like what sold over the weekend, because doing it for a full week would just be way too long. Um, but I haven't done them in a while. I've just been super busy. Summer is just super hectic and, you know, there's just so much going on. So I might bring those back uh, maybe late August, maybe September. I, I'm not quite sure yet. But anyhow, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time. Bye.